Why are the Queen Elizabeth-class carriers not nuclear-powered? These two British Royal Navy carriers can launch almost as many sorties as a Ford-class carrier, but they're conventional fuel-burning ships. Reasons are many, for example, the lengthy and expensive refueling and complex overhaul procedures can take up to almost three years, during which the aircraft carrier is out of commission. Another explanation is far more convincing. What benefit does a nuclear-powered carrier offer when you still need to resupply at sea in order to receive fighter jet fuel, crew food, and defense munitions? Because aircraft carriers can only store one month's worth of aviation fuel, they must be refueled every month. It is also possible to simultaneously obtain ship fuel from a tanker. Did I also mention that some nations restrict nuclear-powered ships from entering their sovereign waters? For example, Egypt banned the use of nuclear-powered ships in the Suez Canal in 1987. Utilizing the Suez Canal reduces the amount of time it takes to sail from, say, Cyprus to the British Indian Ocean Territory by a month. In short, it's much less expensive and has no restrictions.